In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this remix of Glass Animals' Hit Waves. This is the original song. Sometimes all I think about is you. And my remix sounds like this. Come around with the I'm gonna show you how I made it, how I made the verse, the drop, the synths, the bass. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. Let's start with the verse. There's mostly a silent one here, which is just a kind of pad. Very classic. So it's it's very basic, but I, I just love it how it sounds. Like it's just very basic stuff. Then there's a CMI5 with pretty much the init preset. I just love how it sounds as well. There's another CMI5, which is a quite a quite weird synth from Arturia. Look at this. Look at look at what you can do. I just love how bad it sounds because like all together it sounds great, you know like. Then behind that there's two pianos, so literally one addictive keys and then one contact giant. So two big pianos, and then when it goes to the second part, then there's two other pianos, so two addictive keys, but two dance pianos. So basically I use this house key. Because it sounds great, and as the Korg M1 isn't working, even though I bought it, and the motor upright together, so together they sound like this. And with all the four pianos together, because there's four layers of piano, they sound like this. No, it sounds it sounds massive, it sounds big. Then there's a small clap, very basic. There's also this thing which I really like. I was just trying to search for like a weird sound, so I found this and I was happy with it. And then there's a Reese bass. It doesn't need much more, there's no automations on this one. It's just Reese bass, you know. This is the build up with some breakbeat behind it. Very compressed, so it doesn't sound like crazy in the mix. And then let's get into the drop. There's not a ton of layers. There's like literally a sub bass and a bass line, and that's about it. There's like two oscillators and a white noise. So an oscillator like this, a third oscillator which is coming later, and then white noise. The distortion literally makes everything, like without the distortion, just makes it fatter, you know? And then there's a sub bass which is over here. It's a very basic sine wave, I didn't try to get like a special sub bass, usually I just use like a sine wave. For the first step there's a vital like this. I feel like this project is very basic in general. A basic super so with 32 voices. My sign into your bass with silent one. One thing which is really important is those little things. If you just remove all the main synths and you just keep that, it just sounds great still. And what's interesting in that second part is this third oscillator, which is a soul, a basic soul wave again, but it's doing the third note, so... Then I use another sub bass, which is a basic square wave with a break piano back without sidechain. I just made a quick automation here. I can perhaps zoom in if my keyboard wants to. No, my keyboard doesn't want to. You can see I cut the notes, so I uh, I cut the volume on the notes. Just to make them shorter and to give them more impact. And then this is this is probably my favorite part, like it just makes it more cinematic, you know? I just love the last chord because the very last chord it's like there's still some tension like and then for the last drop Come with the 
So I did change some stuff, like I added this thing, which I think it's really cool. A very basic, a silent one, so just a so wave. There's a ton of effects behind it. If I just deactivate all these effects, it will sound like this. It sounds terrible. With FX, this vocoder is doing a lot. It just adds a lot of... And then the last part... I just added like a little melody with some strings just to uh, bring back the break vibes. Not the most complex remix, but I think it works really well. I played it last weekend and it just works super well. Like, here's the video about it. If you want to play it, uh, just click out the pop-up banner over here. And if you want more tutorials like this, just let me know in the comments. I will say see you next week. It was Retro, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.